University of Hawaii football fans remember Timmy Chang as a quarterback who led the team at the beginning of the millennium. He now gets another chance to lead the team as the university's newest head football coach. Keith has more on his return. Yeah, that's right, Paul and Diane. The local boy is coming back home amidst one of the most turbulent periods in Hawaii football history. But now Timmy Chang, the legendary quarterback, has a chance to come back and make things right. Former Bo is coming home. St. Louis star and record-breaking quarterback Timmy Chang is back in Hawaii. I'm back. I'm home. And in my heart, I never left. Like I've done always for the state, I'm just ready to give my all. And so this is beyond incredible for me and my family. I get to do it right here in Hawaii, where I was born and raised. I'm really excited. And, and the goal is to win Mountain West Conference championships. The goal is to win games and make the state proud. The University of Hawaii hiring Chang to take over as the program's 25th head coach, all in hopes of recreating the magic he was once a part of. The, it's, it's like no other thing. I'm getting, I'm getting chicken skin just talking about it. I mean, when that place is rocking, when the fans are behind you, it's unbeatable. It's, it's not really difficult to get it back there. You know, it's, it's, it's getting your kid's mindset right. And uh, we got to make those guys do what we need them to do. And, um, and we got to go win some games. And bringing that magic back, we'll start with the scheme and players. Chang says he will bring back elements of the run and shoot offense and talented players from right here in the islands. You know, we'll go after the best, best local talent here. It, it's very, very, very important. It's very crucial to the, to the success of your program. And the, the better players you have, you know, you're going to win games. But this hiring comes after a wild 24 hours. Madness in Manoa. On Friday, former Hawaii head coach June Jones was offered the job, but turned it down. Jones saying on Twitter that he wouldn't let anyone dictate who's on his staff or how he coaches. And on Saturday, the university fired back. But instead of standing on his resume, he put as much pressure on UH as possible before we even met for, with him for the first time. It wasn't an honest negotiation. It was about building up enough pressure to force UH to capitulate. You know, it's about integrity. And Jones showed zero integrity for this process. We want to create an environment where whoever leads the UH football program is in, a, is in the best place that they can succeed. Um, but I don't think that means they have to get the keys of the castle. But now that the dust has settled, fans, alumni, and players alike are feeling excited for a new era in Hawaii football. Everyone circling August 27th, week one against Vanderbilt, a day to start writing Hawaii football's next chapter. The Timmy Chang era officially begins now. The brotherhood, as they call it, has been back in business since today. Stay tuned to sports. We'll have more football coverage coming up. But for now, I'm Keith DeMolder, KITV4 Island Sports.